As an Australian nurse is being tested for Ebola in a Keynes hospital after she contracted a low-grade fever that's symptomatic with the virus. The 57-year-old returned to Australia on Tuesday following a trip to Sierra Leone where she was working with Red Cross International. Queensland's chief health officer, Dr. Jeanette Young, said the patient, Sue Allen Kovac, had spent a month in Sierra Leone working in an Ebola hospital. She came back into the country. She was perfectly well at that time. She did not have any symptoms. She did not have a fever. So it's only since this morning that she's had a low-grade fever. Doctors are awaiting the results of Kovac's blood test, with health authorities expecting the results by early Friday morning. Meanwhile, Liberian national Thomas Eric Duncan, the first person diagnosed with Ebola in the U.S., died on Wednesday despite intense but delayed treatment. The 42-year-old had shown no symptoms when he arrived in Dallas on September 20th but fell ill several days later. The U.S. government immediately ordered five major airports to start screening passengers from West Africa for fever. In Madrid, dozens of animal rights activists scuffled with police outside the apartment of Spanish nurse Teresa Romero, the first person to be infected with Ebola in Europe, trying to stop workers from taking away her dog. Authorities had obtained a court order to kill the dog, saying they could not rule out the possibility it could spread the virus. Romero was said to be in stable condition on Wednesday.